everyone welcome back to my channel um my name is lovelyn i vlog about home some, some lifestyle family um and a little sprinkle of video games here and there but welcome to my channel way um today i wanted to talk to you about my weight loss um journey and slash mental health um because i think it goes hand in hand together um especially um i'm i'm sure it affects no matter what gender you are um for me particularly it affected me quite a bit i grew up um let's go back to okay let's rewind and go through background um I am Filipino American, so I first generation, and so you guys have probably seen memes and funny videos that a lot of Filipinos do on like TikTok or you know Instagram reels and stuff like that. And we are pretty harsh on each other. Um, growing up, I have two younger sisters. I am the oldest, and we are all girls. And it was difficult to always be, I think especially if you're a girl in this culture, in the Philippine culture, it's pretty difficult because, um, especially if you're compared to your other sisters, like growing up, I was always the bigger one out of my sisters. Um, and, you know, look, as I got older, I can't really put the blame a hundred percent on like my parents and all that stuff because it's just a cultural thing. And I think I put the, I actually blame the whole culture. It's not just an individual thing. Um, but we'll go into that later on a lot more as we talk more. So I always thought I was heavy. I always had this body dysmorphia condition where I just always, when I looked in the mirror, I always saw something wrong with me. Um, I even grew up with like family, um, whether it be cousins and aunts and uncles who, you know, always put me down, made me feel like I wasn't good enough. I've been in relationships where I felt like I was not good enough. Um, and so I just always believed I was just, didn't look right. Um, and now what's funny is looking back, when looking back now, I was not huge at all. <laughs> like, like I, I don't know what I was thinking, but I think it was just, you know, when you're constantly told something, you eventually believe it about yourself, especially if you're a girl, it like you take it to heart. And so I really believed I was. And now looking back and seeing how my body is today, I'm like, what the hell was I thinking? Because I should have been happy. You know, I should have felt good about myself. I should have felt all right because now I can seriously, I have put on a lot of weight and I know that like I've, um, I, th I think I was in that mindset where, you know what, why should I care how I look? Because I feel like I worked out, I dieted, I yo-yo dieted, I became bulimic I would also be I would starve myself like I would not eat lunch at school or I would like when I used to work I would just have like a monster and like uh like a beef stick you know like like a beef jerky and that was it like that's all I would eat like you know like I and I still kept getting comments about how I looked and it was not good enough. So I think I just kind of gave up mentally and I just stopped. And then, you know, fast forward, I got married 
fell in love and you know obviously when you fall in love you kind of just let things go you're just like oh you know he loves me you know whatever and then you start having kids and then that doesn't help and then eventually like I reached like it was before I turned 40 and I realized you know and I was trying to get healthy no matter what I did. And it was to the point where my body, no matter what I did, I exercised, I dieted, and no matter what um, I saw nutritionist, I could not lose the weight. And so I finally was like, you know what, I'm going to go. I, I've been seeing a therapist. I um, And so I figured, okay, get my mental health my priority was mental health first. So I got my mental health figured out. I have a therapist. I'm on medication. And it just opened up this whole new mindset of my of, of mine. And so I saw clarity, you know, of, of what I need to fix about myself. And I fig you know, and I always believe that your mental health, once you get that right. The other stuff, um, the physical stuff, the, you know, like, it it just follows through. It's just like a domino effect. Um, my mental health was, was situated. I finally have a career path that I love. And so now it was like all about physical health. So I finally, you know, was like, okay, I did my research. I got advice from people that I know. And so I decided to go talk to a bariatric surgeon just to see what they had to say. And they sp specifically told me that, and as well as, because it was like a huge, great, it was like a whole team of nutritionists, your surgeon, um, and then plus with my therapist, um, and the, you know, like no matter, sometimes your body, no matter what you do. And I, a lot of people argue saying, well, you're just not, you know, exercising enough. You're just eating junk. You know what? Sometimes no matter how much a person eats and healthy and works out, they just cannot lose the weight. It's a genetic thing. It's a chemical thing. And so I decided after doing research, we decided to go and I got the endo sleeve. So basically they just made my stomach into like a little sleeve. Um, I didn't get gastric bypass. They just basically cut my stomach up like, so it's like a sleeve size. So it's really small. So I have like five little incisions on my stomach. Um, they did it all laparoscopically. I had it done October of 2020. Oh no, 2021. Um, and I think it's the best decision I've ever made because my lifestyle, besides learning how to eat in smaller amounts, um, hasn't really changed. And I've lost like the weight and what happens is when it's almost like a hormonal thing as well. I cannot explain all the chemical stuff and all that stuff. If you're interested, please go see a reputable bariatric center surgeon and they will explain it in more detail. But from my underst from what I've realized is that my body went through this huge, when they cut off that portion of my stomach, it's almost like hormonally and mentally, my body just kind of like knew like, oh, you know, it's, 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 it's like just started on its own. So I started losing the weight, um, not too fast and not too slow. It was just the right amount. Um, I've lost like a hundred pounds and counting and I'm still losing it. I'm still kind of uncomfortable with how I look. I know I still have my stomach to lose and all that stuff. Um, but I'm try I'm starting to become a little bit more braver in posting pictures, which 
um, I hope you'll see more of on Instagram. I'm posting like outfits and stuff like that. Um, just so I can show you, like we could see differences in progression, um, to hold myself accountable and for you guys to see also, if you guys are interested in this stuff, but I notice it in my face, um, and tell, and, you know, it took me a while to notice it because I was in denial, um, and quite honestly, we are, as a wife, sometimes you have a hard time believing what your husband says because, you know, you feel like he's kind of biased, but when you start seeing people that haven't seen you in a while, like family members and stuff, it, it you kind of start to realize, oh yeah, you know, I do look different. Also, my clothes, um, slowly buying outfits, um, a little bit at a time because, you know, I am still losing weight. Um, so yeah, so I that's, you know, I've been doing that. I do the, Pel I've been doing the Peloton. I eat little meals. Um, and what's nice is that I eat, you know, like it's, for me, it was the best decision and it wasn't like a drastic, drastic, like gasping bypass. Um, but it was the perfect decision for me and my body mentally, and I and I and I don't regret it at all. Um, now, one of the changes that my husband and I um, decided, and this has to do with culture and also what led me and many others to have this, like it's hard it's like uh body dysmorphia disorder i guess in a way um is that we as filipinos or whatever culture you're in i don't know but i'm just talking speaking from my culture that i've grown up in we need to stop beating down on our family members or our younger generation we have to stop just blurting out, oh, you've gained weight, or you're this and that. You know, like, I understand it's a cultural thing, and so it's going to be harder for older generations to stop. But for me and my husband and my household, we don't do that. I will, like, straight up cut, a, cut up the person I don't care if you're my aunt, I don't care if you're my grandma, my Lola, and if you sit there and you say something about my child, I will stand up because I believe I don't want this to happen to my to my children, especially I have a little girl and I don't want her to feel the way I do. I want her to feel like she's beautiful all the time, you know, and there's a healthier way to tell somebody, you know, to get healthy than just sit there and straight up and say, oh, you've, I'm going to say it in the accent, okay? Oh, you've gotten fat. You know, like, it's just like, it's so rude. So like, for me and my husband, we decided we love so many things about the Filipino culture. I mean, like just the thought of family, the food, you know, the values, but values can only take you so far. Like, Take the good stuff. We decide to take the good stuff of our culture and teach that to our kids, but take out the bad. So that's what we're doing. And so it's helped me mentally. It's helped my weight loss journey. It's made me so much happier, which my husband has noticed. Um, and also I want it. I want what's best for my kids as well. I want them to live a healthy life in a mentally strong foundation and not, you know, like the way I did. But anyways, if you guys have any questions about my weight loss journey, this is just kind of like a touch on it. Um, but I can go into detail and do research if you guys want to. Um, but yeah, just leave comments down below or DM me on Instagram. Um, and yeah, let's keep this dialogue open on body positivity. And 
I can't wait to take you guys on where my physical and mental health journey continues. All right, guys, until next time, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.